person is Valentine. I'm wearing the sleek matte liquid lipstick in the shade Shabby Chic. Quite velvety with a hint of moisturization. Something like that. And it's like a nice nudie. That was your first sighting of Baby Man. <laughs> Hello everyone! So it's that time of the month again. That came out wrong. Not that time of the month. <laughs> Although if it is that time of the month for you then have some chocolate! So it's almost Valentine's Day. We're going to bake two treats today. Red velvet cheesecake brownies and the second one is champagne raspberry cupcakes. Without further ado, let's get started! The red velvet cheesecake brownies, I've made these before. They are so luscious, they just melt in your mouth and they're such a beautiful color, perfect for Valentine's Day. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 275 degrees Celsius. That's my tin, which is not actually a tin, it's made of glass, Pyrex. Baking parchment. Baby man got this. <laughs> Vintage home butter. So just butter the dish so that the baking parchment sticks properly. Butter the parchment as well. I've got some left on that napkin, so I'll just. So I actually need to melt some butter. Eight tablespoons. I'm just gonna say it's about 50 grams. I'm relatively lazy. Right, so I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and just check it every 30 seconds. It's looking quite hard, therefore I'm just going to whip it. Perfect. We're going to add a cup of sugar. I just realized I don't actually have enough sugar for the other recipe. It's not quite a cup. Next, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. Okay, probably a bit too much cocoa. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract next into that same bowl. <laughs> One tablespoon of red food coloring. Okay, good. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, which I'm just gonna... And now we're going to combine all this. Half a teaspoon of white vinegar. So it says half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna add... Ooh, that is potent. Maybe that was a bit more than half a teaspoon. It's starting to be a gorgeous reddish color. In this bowl, I'm going to whisk two eggs. That smells good. So chocolatey. Now we've got the brownie batter with the eggs, which we're going to whisk together. And it's turning this absolutely beautiful red color now. Next, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Fold that in now. We're going to do sort of sweeping motions over and over until it's well combined. So this is what you end up with. Gorgeous red fudgy batter. We're going to pour it into our tin. So I poured all of it into the tin. You're not supposed to do that. You need to reserve a quarter of it apparently. So we've poured three quarters of the brownie batter into the tin and put the remaining quarter back into the bowl. Next, we're going to make our cheesecake thing. As I said earlier, I actually ran out of regular sugar. So I'm going to use golden granulated sugar for this one. Blend 300 grams of cream cheese. Oh, I really want some cream cheese right now. Okay, three tablespoons of sugar. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, yeah that's about right, and an egg yolk. Prep the egg onto a plate with an egg cup. Just cut the egg yolk. Like a cookie cutter, separate the surrounding egg white from the yolk and then just pour the white into a bowl. Let's just pour it in. I'm going to use an electric mixer now to blend all of this up together. 
So now we're going to spread the cream cheese onto our brownie batter. We're going to spread the cheese mixture on top of the brownie batter into an even layer. The remainder of our brownie batter, which we're going to distribute over the cheesecake mixture. Using a sharp knife, be careful, swirl it around. There you go. We're going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Next, we're going to make champagne and raspberry cupcakes. In a bowl, we're going to put in two and three quarter cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. In the bowl of a standing mixer, we're going to mix the butter and the sugar together for four minutes until light and fluffy. So a cup of butter. Who cares, let's just add the whole thing. Okay, maybe not. One and a half cups of sugar. I know it's not the right sugar, but I don't have any other sugar, so that's gonna have to do. <laughs> We're going to add our egg whites, one at a time. Whoosh! It's not gonna be one at a time. Vanilla extract, two teaspoons. That was way too much. So now we're going to add the dry ingredients, that's the flour and the baking powder to start with. <laughs> this is so messy. So now we're going to add the champagne, or as I like to call it, Sainsbury's Carver. Why would I add perfectly good champagne to a cake mixture? <laughs> Nonsense. So Baby Man is getting champagne flutes right now because obviously we're not gonna drink this. Pour a cup of this into the mixture. Cupcake tin. Cupcake liners. And these are going to go in the oven for 18 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius. I'm going to continue filming this video in the morning. I will ice the cupcakes tomorrow and show you the results. When is takeaway getting here? If you have a vlog or a blog, my message to you is this. I'm quite keen to hear about it. Oh, I need no. a ghetto. Give me a ghetto. We're gonna ice the cupcakes. Here are the champagne cupcakes looking absolutely delicious. We're going to make champagne raspberry buttercream icing. We're gonna need five cups of icing sugar, a cup of butter, some raspberry coulis, some uh, Prosecco, baby man had to go and buy a new one today, some vanilla extract, and some raspberries. In my standing mixer, I'm going to beat one cup of butter until creamy. Three tablespoons of raspberry coulis into the creamed butter. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to add five cups of icing sugar, approximately one cup at a time. Baba sugar! If any of you have read Gone Girl, that scene where they're in the alley with the um, bakers and the icing sugar, you'll know what I'm talking about right now. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of Prosecco. I've overbeaten it. Mm, yeah, it's definitely too runny. We're gonna use a piping bag with a nozzle, which is star-shaped. Oh well. Sure, it'll be fine. Uh, this is an absolute disaster. Oh, I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. Okay, it's not too horrendous. Absolutely awful. They look like a weird anemic unicorn came along and just shit everywhere. 
finally, we're gonna top off these uh, creations with some raspberries. Now, the treat that I am slightly more excited about because I think it turned out slightly better, my red velvet cheesecake brownie. Look at that. So delicious. Mmm, that is so good. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these treats. Also let me know in the comments what you're doing for Valentine's Day. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day, whatever you do, and see you soon!